If your OneNote notebook is linked to your Schoology class, at the end of the year, when that class is removed, your notebook will go with it. So my recommendation would be to go to your Office 365 tab in your dashboard and use the ellipses down here to select OneNote. If you don't see OneNote here, you can come up to the waffle, select that and choose OneNote there. By creating a new notebook that's not tied to your class, you can use these materials year after year and then just copy them into your Schoology Class OneNote. So start at the top here and select New Notebook. If you have a notebook already started, you'll find it in the recently viewed notebooks here. Let's use a science notebook as an example that I've used for a class before. When I open this up, you'll see that there are no student sections on the left-hand side, and I don't have class notebook listed at the top. In here, I have all of my tabs, such as my science pacing and all of my information laid out for me so I can keep it straight. Because again, this notebook is just as much for me as it is for my students. I've even included the standards so that I can easily refer back to them. Some of the tabs that you may want to include are vocabulary. So now I have every section of my science notebook with its vocabulary listed, which is easily searchable. I have sheets that allow me to have students fill in the information. I have areas for common assessments and even ideas for blank journals so that students can write in them. All of this is a matter of personal preference and your students' abilities. So if you're creating things where students may benefit a little bit more from some extra formatting, I would go that route. When you have your pages created in this notebook, you can copy them to other sections or you could copy the page by right-clicking the page and I'll see copy right up here at the top. Now that I've copied my page, let's go back to my Schoology linked notebook. And this is my class notebook. You'll see my students listed right here on the left. And I'm gonna paste that page right in. So in this case, I don't yet have a section for that. So I'm gonna add a section and we'll call it vocabulary and then I will paste the page information right here. Another option for me is to go back to my teacher page and actually highlight and copy the material that's on this page itself. So when I've highlighted all of my material, I can copy it like I would any other bit of information and paste it right into the new page on my Schoology linked class notebook. Now that I have my page all created, I can distribute it to my students so I can either distribute to everyone, an individual, or a group that I've created. When I select distribute page, takes a second, and now I can choose where I want this to go in my student's notebook. So you can see that I have the four sections listed that I have in my student notebook, and I'm gonna put this in vocabulary. It takes just a quick moment and there you see it's done. Now when I close it and go back to my student's notebook, I go down to vocabulary, and there I can see the page that I've distributed right there. This makes it easy to hand out materials to your students without any worries of them getting lost. To make copying a little bit easier, use the OneNote notebook that's assigned to your sandbox in Schoology. If I go to my sandbox notebook, here, I can find a section. Let's create this chapter one. I'll add a page. We'll call this vocabulary. And now when I want to distribute this to different notebooks, I can go up to my class notebook and go to distribute page. And now when I choose the drop down menu, I now have an option for cross notebook distribution. So this will pull up all of my notebooks and I can choose which one and where I would like this page to go to. Any notebook that I choose, I can see a drop down menu and choose the section where I want to place this page. Let's look at another completed example of a class notebook that I've used. So let's use the math notebook that I created for my math students. Here you can see the first thing that pops up is the vocabulary list. Students can edit this as we discuss these words and it's easily searchable using the magnifying glass here. I've also included useful things that I don't want them to lose, like formula sheets. This way, the page can't be dropped on the floor or left in the back of your desk. Under notes, I have sections laid out for my students to take their specific notes, because again, I felt my students needed a little bit more formatting support. 
Under each individual unit, I have every lesson laid out and vocabulary cards for them to refer to. And in each lesson, I have my essential question, a video of instruction linked so that they can refer back to that at any point, and any pages that I would like them to annotate or work through. This keeps all of my materials in one place that my students can never forget or lose.